Look, it gave us one for the ages without a doubt, and everybody there in Staples Center enjoyed it, especially all the big wigs from Hollywood. And our NBA Finals correspondent, Jalen Rose, caught up with everybody in our Nokia Engaging interview. Hey, Jack, just a little Laker love. What huh? you think about them Lakers? Lakers are just beautiful. Steven Spielberg, big fans, best damn sports show. Could you have drew a better picture yourself? No, no, no. I couldn't have imagined this. And, you know, Kobe at the end, I mean, you know, before the overtime, unreal. Just like one of unreal. your pieces. Unreal. Like what? one of your pieces. Very good. He, Very okay, good. okay I'll accept that. Phenomenal. I haven't seen Obviously, you in a while, Obviously, you're a Laker man. fan. Since you've been in my backyard shooting shots. Exactly. You taught me all my jump shots, and he taught me everything I know. What you think about that Lakers finish? Was that crazy? I, I think it was ugly, man. That's an ugly, ugly Ugly, ugly game, you know. I think the Lakers will play better in Detroit than they played here. Well, it looked like. Aren't you from Detroit? Yeah, born and raised. You know that. It looked like Kobe needed a little help. cousins in. And it looked like Kobe needed a little help in the backcourt. A lot of people don't know you really got a basketball game. Well, they got to just distribute the basketball, let everybody touch it, and it, good things happen. How about Luke Walton, though? What number does Luke Walton wear? Luke, I don't know what number. <laughs> Who's Luke? <laughs> Luke the white boy? <laughs> I don't know who Luke is. Kobe Lakers, go! Hey baby, how you doing, Jay? Shamia, Shamia, huh? Man, incorporated. You know, I was in the locker room the whole half, and I said, "Fellas, let's do something. Do it for uh, me." <clears throat> and I'm from Detroit, and I, I gave him that secret Detroit knowledge. When Amar Rashad is there, the event is real. <laughs> We're gonna try to sneak and get an exclusive. What's up, nah? How you doing, Bill? How you doing, me, fella? All right. That was the first guy I was scared to ask for an interview. He got so many rings. I got nervous when he walked past me. Too. He makes me completely nervous. I mean, it's such awe. Did he say big fella? Hey, yeah. hey, hey, big fella. Hey, how about Spielberg? He, he can't imagine Kobe doing this, but he can imagine E.T. Right, exactly. <laughs> but but Den Denzel's good. He'd be good on this show. He can fill in for you sometimes, Sal. Oh, I, I hope so. Know. Everybody can fill in if I get your kind of job. <laughs> well, we got to thank, thank Michael Roth over there at Staples for helping us out. Thank you very much. Michael. Michael. Also, thanks to everybody yeah. at Nokia for giving us our engaging game yeah, decks. Go out and play. Well, well, Peter, Peter, you can have one as a party. Gift. Hey, by the way, let's hear it for Peter Vesey as well, our NBA insider. Peter, thank you very much for joining us. We Thanks, appreciate Peter. it. All right.